We're delighted to honor today the most recent of this uh, very exclusive group, Major Cooper, who uh, went furthest in space and did so on the anniversary of Charles Lindbergh's flight to Paris. I think uh, one of the things which uh, warmed us the most during this flight was the realization that however extraordinary computers may be, that we are still ahead of them and that man is still the most extraordinary computer of all. His judgment, his nerve, and uh, the lessons he can learn from experience still make him unique and therefore make man flight necessary and not merely that uh, of uh, satellites. I hope that uh, we will be encouraged to continue with this program. I know that a good many people say, uh, why go to the moon? Just as many people said to Lindbergh, why go to Paris? Lindbergh said, it's not so matter of matter of logic as it is a feeling. I think that uh, the United States has committed itself to this great adventure in the 60s. I think before the end of the 60s, we will see a man in the moon, to the moon, an American. And I think in so doing, it's not merely that we're interested in making this particular journey, but we are interested in demonstrating a dominance of this new sea and making sure that in this new great adventurous period that the Americans are playing their great role as they have in the past. Most of all, we're very proud uh, of Major Cooper and his family, and we're very proud that our country continues to produce uh, these uh, young men who go so far uh, and uh, carry with them so much. So, Major, we're glad to welcome you and your mother here and your wife, your two children, and to tell you that uh, you've given the United States a, a great day and a great lift. I didn't really have much to say, and after that, all I can say is that it certainly is a great honor to be invited here and to be presented this award, and thank you all very much.